When you think of animals, these creatures may be the ones that come to mind. These are mammals, neither the earliest nor the most numerous of the animal world. There's a level of kinship, even with this black-tailed deer. The body producing its own heat and the mother giving milk to her young. People have these things in common with mammals. This doe, a female deer, browses among the rocks and trees at Crater Lake National Park. Besides domesticated animals, deer may be the most recognizable mammal to many people. In the deer family, elk may not be as well known. Much larger and heavier than black-tailed deer, elk live in large herds. This bull elk has a rack of antlers, as do deer bucks. The male elk keeps a harem of cows, elk cows that is. Bear cubs explore a rocky beach in Alaska. There's likely to be a sow close by, the cub's protective mother. This is a bear of a different species, a grizzly bear, venturing to water's edge to catch migrating salmon. The timing's all off, though. The salmon run hasn't started yet, so the lumbering bear pulls up pieces of the beach looking for anything it can eat. Grizzly bears are much larger than black bears. Up in Alaska, they're simply called brown bears. Grizzly bears are even more protective of their young than black bears, and their larger size makes them even more dangerous, that is, to people who invade their familiar space. Grizzly bears don't typically seek out people to attack. They stay busy minding their own business trying to survive and raise their young. Before the salmon run, it's a struggle to survive in this vast, unforgiving land in Alaska, even for the grizzly bear. If you want to see mountain goats, you have to look up into the mountains. Their ability to move in this rocky terrain helps them avoid predators. These mountain goats are in Glacier Bay National Park in Alaska. Alaska is also home to these forest caribou. They're found in small groups, unlike the great caribou herds that migrate in the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge. These are enjoying the scant remains of snow in Denali National Park this bit of snow gives them some relief from the biting insects that swarm the area in the summer. These forest caribou are as much a part of this landscape as the vegetation, that vegetation kept short by the killing cold air of winter. Both male and female grow antlers. While the caribou are shy, this ground squirrel doesn't seem the least bit bothered by people. Black bears also try to avoid people. They also avoid the savage winter by hibernating in a den. Squirrels disappear during the winter. During those winter months, having stored the seeds and nuts and reducing their body's metabolism, they're able to survive the cold months. This squirrel lives near the Rogue River in southern Oregon. It's holding perfectly still to avoid detection. Like black bears, squirrels have sharp, curved claws for climbing up trees. In the squirrel's case, they also have claws for moving down the trees as well. And those bushy tails? Squirrels can wrap those around their bodies to keep them warm in winter. This is a ram, a male sheep. Now, these wild sheep live along the Snake River. That's the eastern border of Oregon. Their white rumps make them easier to spot. They're called pronghorn sheep because of the horns that they grow on their heads. These tiny mammals are not shy. They're chipmunks living at Crater Lake National Park. 
The park rangers have had to discourage visitors from feeding them. While chipmunks will gladly charm people out of their treats, the human food is often a death sentence. Human food goes bad, especially in the winter, and replaces the food that the chipmunks need to survive the harsh winters here. Another interesting mammal at Crater Lake is the marmot. This one seems to be doing what most people do here, gazing at the incredible blue water at Crater Lake. Remember this mammal? It's a relative of the deer. This is an elk. This bull elk is the alpha of this herd. He alone will mate with the females. That's not to say that he's the only bull. Take a look at this bull elk. It appears that he sees or hears something at the tree line. Watch the urine fly as he makes threatening gestures with his antlers. He is agitated. Now he makes less dramatic use of his antlers, scratching an itch on his back. I'm not sure if he's defending the herd or working off his frustration at not being able to mate. The other bulls seem much calmer. Now you can tell they're bulls by the antlers. Only the males grow them. While any of these could be rivals to the Alpha or each other, they get along with each other peacefully now. So do the elk cows, easy to identify since they don't grow antlers. This mammal is easy to identify. The black mask of the raccoon is the main giveaway. These intelligent animals are highly adaptable. They thrive where people live. Raccoons have greater control of their forepaws than most other mammals. They're able to pick up and manipulate objects with great dexterity. They're also able to eat a wide variety of food sources. Almost any habitat will do, from isolated swamps to large cities. They're found in almost every biome. Raccoons are mostly nocturnal, active at night, but they're seen sometimes during the daylight hours. River otters are mammals. They're active during the day. Monkeys are mammals as well. Monkeys share a lot of traits that humans have. These monkeys live in Mexico. They need a habitat that dense forests provide. This mammal also lives in Mexico. It's a coati. Ranging from Mexico into South America, this big cat is a jaguar. Jaguars are carnivores. They eat meat. Jaguars are the top predators in their habitat. These long pointed teeth, along with muscular jaws, allow jaguars to be successful hunters. Their spotted coats allow them to ambush unwary prey. While jaguars live better away from people, squirrels adapt well to environments with humans. This is another mammal you may have seen. Squirrels are found in many parts of North America. These gray squirrels were seen at Upper Table Rock near Medford, Oregon. Squirrels gather seeds and nuts to supply food during the winter. These are just a few of the mammals that grace our world. 